Hello, it's Jay again, and I'm going to walk you through creating a basic HTML page. So we're going to start with the mother of all HTML tags, which is HTML. And if you look closely, you can see that it's an opening bracket, then lowercase HTML, and then a closing bracket. Now with HTML, whenever we open a tag, we also have to close it off. It's like switching a light switch on and off. So we'll go down, and to close off a tag, you enter the same thing, but with a slash inside. Now when you make an HTML page, there's two more tags that you have to have. In addition to the HTML tag, you make a head tag and a body tag. Most of the actual content of the HTML page is going to go in the body tag. So we'll start by entering some text in the body of our HTML page. We're making a welcome to Cronkite page, so let's make the welcome word a little bit stronger. Let's make it stand out a bit. You can use the tag strong to do this. One thing I want to show you here is that HTML doesn't care about how much space is in your HTML code. So you can see here I put a bunch of returns in here on the left and nothing changes on the right. It doesn't matter. So now we'll try another tag to make things stand out a little bit and that's the emphasis tag, which is EM. A tag that's good for organizing things is the paragraph tag, which is just a letter P. Let's put in a bit more text. If we want to organize things a little bit, we can put in a break return tag, which just makes a new line, and that's BR. If you look closely at this tag, unlike all the other tags we've done so far, this tag only has a single tag. There's no on and off. It's just one. If you want to make your text really stand out, you can use a headline tag. H1 is the biggest. We'll use the second biggest, which is H2 here. If we take a closer look, we can see that the tags are nested. The H2 is outside of the strong tag, which means this text is both H2 and strong. For the Walter Cronkite School, we'll use the biggest headline tag, which is H1. Here's a look at what we got so far. Let's add some reasons why Cronkite is so great. OL stands for ordered list, which will make a numbered list. Inside of OL, you use list item for each item that you want to put inside. That's LI. Here's what it looks like up close. If you want to make an unordered list, you use UL. And again, for the list items, use LI. Here's what it looks like up close. And here's what your browser will output. Now let's put a link to Cronkite at the bottom of our page. First I'll make a new paragraph. Then I'll use the A tag, which stands for anchor. Now this tag is different than all the other tags we've done so far, because we have to put the location where the user will go when they click. So if you look closely, inside of the A tag, I have what's called an href attribute, which uses an equal sign and quotes to tell the browser where the user should go when they click. Let's try it out. If I go over to the output side and right click on the link, I can open the link in a new tab. And it takes me right to the Cronkite page. Now we're going to put an image in our page. So let's find an image we like, right click on it, and select copy image address. Now if we go back to our HTML code, we can use the image tag, which is IMG. We use the source attribute, and in quotes, we paste the address to the image we just found. If the image looks too big, we can use the width attribute. If you put in 100%, it will always be the width of the browser. Finally, in the head section, let's add a title. I'm going to call my page Walter Cronkite. 
Okay, we're all done. We've done this before, but you have to save your page and then click download. You want to give it a good name and save it to your computer. On some computers, the file will automatically be saved to your computer. In that case, find the file and rename it, giving it a good name. Now we want to go to My Files and upload the page to your www folder. Now enter the URL into a browser and take a look.